Can y'all just make some noise in here? Let's. Will y'all send to your video? Give God some praise now. I came for revival. I don't know about y'all. How many know that Jesus will? Come on. How many know that Jesus will? How many know that He will open up doors for you? Can I get a witness? Can we just give God a hand clap of praise? Somebody open up your mouth and give God some glory in here. Come on, I ain't gonna make it party, but will you just bless the Lord just for a few more seconds? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on and put your hands up and give God some praise in this place. Hallelujah. I said, come on and give God some praise in this place. Can you open up your mouth and begin to give God some praise in us? Come on, just about the Lord tonight.
tonight. And man, how many came in here looking for and expecting God to move me here tonight? Hallelujah. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer. Most gracious Father, we thank you, God, for this service. Thank you, God, for your anointing, God. Thank you for your glory, God. Thank you, God, for the last night of this revival, God. We ask to move in a mighty, special way, God. Send every hindering spirit out the door in the name of Jesus. Say you have no power, but God, we give you praise right now, God. Lord, let me Lord, speak through me like never before, God. Lord, to touch your people, God. Set somebody free. Heal somebody, God. Deliver somebody in this place, God. Move in a special way, God. Move Jerome out of the way, God. You do the teaching and the preaching right now, Father. Father, let there be a shift in the atmosphere, God. Thank you for last night. Thank you, God, for the ones that came to the altar, God. God, we just give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor, God. We lift you up and we magnify you. We give you all the praise. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, I so pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And may you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And may if you have your Bibles, will you go with me to Luke? We're going to go with uh, Luke, the 15th chapter. Amen. And when you got it, say amen. Amen. First off, I would like to give a God for being here to Minister Smith again. Thank you for inviting me to the great pastor and founder of this house, Bishop Ed LeGron. Y'all give Pastor LeGron a hand. Amen. Amen. To my very own founder, District Old Facility. Mitch, y'all give this great woman of God a hand. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Then. Amen. To the first lady of this house. And it's good to have my church family, my family. It's good to see my mom and my dad back there. My, also, my granddad. Y'all give Mr. James Mitchell a hand. Amen. Amen. So proud to, to have him with me. Thank you to my own barrel. And as to Brother Jarvis and Sister Jamaica, they took care of me well this week. And we want to thank y'all for coming. Amen. I hope you enjoyed this sermon. I hope it encouraged you some kind of way. And we're going to start at the 11th verse. Amen. If you got it, say amen. amen. Then he said, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of good that falls to me. So he divided to them his living hood. And not many days after the younger son gathered together, journeyed to a far country, and there wasted his possessions with prodigal living. But when he had spent all, there arose a severe famine in the land, and he began to be in want. Then he went and joined himself into a citizen of the country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would gladly have filled his stomach with pounds that the swine ate, and no one gave them any. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare and perish with hunger? I will rise and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when, when he was still a great far off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, and I am no longer, no longer worthy to be called your son. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. We're going to use for a thought or a subject tonight. Daddy, can I come back home? Touch your neighbor and say, Daddy, Daddy. can I come yeah. back home? Y'all can say it a little louder. Y'all can we have some church in here? Loosen up. Tell somebody, say, Daddy, can I come back home? Now, that's an unusual title or subject if you want to call it to me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God gave me that this morning, well, this afternoon, just sit right there in that chair. Daddy, can I come back home? Amen. Now, everybody should know this story. Amen. We're going to preach and teach it the way God wants us to teach it. Amen. There was a certain man who had two sons. 
And the young of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of thy goods that you have. So he divided to them his livelihood. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together to a far country. Can I get a witness? I believe right here in this word, in this scripture, the older son, he was going to, he wanted to do the will of God. Can I get a witness? He wanted to save his money and do the right thing. But now we're going back to a younger boy, a younger man that didn't sound mature. Can I get a witness? He took all his money that he had and went to a far country, far off, far away, away from here. Can I get a witness? And parted all night long. Am I right about it? He parted. He had parted, went to the club. He had drunk a little bit, had smoked a little bit. He had did everything that we do in our life. Am I right? Sometimes he probably felt like he should have been home, but it wasn't his time yet. Can I get a witness? See, when you're in the arms of Jesus, when you're in the arms of God, we might get far off and forget who we're supposed to be serving. Can I get a witness in here? We serve a God that hears and sees every trouble, everything that we're going through in our lives. See, in this word, I believe he asked his father. He, he got hungry and he saw the pigs eating. He wanted to taste what the pigs were eating, but they would not let him taste this food. Can I get a witness? See, in our lives, we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And we have done wrong in our life. But how many know that we have a forgiven God? God forgive us 70 times 70. Can I get a witness? We do things that we know that we're not supposed to do. In our life, we walk up and we, we try to stay on the straight offense. And we try to stay in the middle of the road. But sometimes we stray away. Yes, we do. Can I talk to you sometimes? See, be We walk away from our calling. We, we forget what God has brought us from. Am I right about it? We forget the things that God has taught us. He taught us in his word just to live right. He taught us in his word just to follow his command. Sometimes we try to get too far off and realize that it's time to come back home. We do wrong in our life and we wonder why things are going wrong. But God said that I'll never leave you. Am I right about it? I came to tell you that the Lord will forgive everything that you have done. See, this young man finally came to himself while he was far off. He said, Father, I want to come back home. I believe he told us, Daddy, that I have done wrong and I did those things. I even pointed out night long. Even drunk a little can I get a witness? How many of those sometimes in our life we go beyond what we're supposed to do? But I come to tell you that daddy will forgive you. If you just hold on a little while longer, don't get too far gone because times get hard. You have to come in your life. There will be some times in your life where you have to find out. You have to learn right from wrong. Can I preach to you a little while? Sometimes we wonder and we look and say, Lord, I don't know which way to turn. I don't know whether I should go to my left or whether I should go to my right. Sometimes we party too hard, but the party of time is over. Can I get a witness in here? It's time to live right for Jesus. It's time to be in his will. Not in the other way. He already told you that he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father except by me. How I many of that is Father's Day? When we do wrong, we got to go down on our knees and say, Lord Jesus, I have seen. I wish I had a witness in here. I have seen. I've done wrong. I was out there in the world. I cuss people out. I'm just using examples. I cuss people out. I went playing all night long. Got drunk and everything. But I come to tell you that my God knows it all. 
He knows what you're going through. Sometimes we feel depressed in our lives. And we go through the wrong thing. We find that wrong person. And we try to sleep all with that person. But I came to tell you that the angels are around you. You didn't catch a disease. Because it was by God's grace. You didn't catch hell. You find sometimes that we come up against wicked things. We find in our lives that we don't have no deliverance. What because we stop serving God. I come to tell you tonight, serving the Lord, it will pay off. After a while, you got to keep on serving in the morning. You got to keep on serving in the midnight hour. You got to keep on serving when you're down and out. I know sometimes in your life, you have to cry. You have to weep and moan. But I come to tell you that the joy of the Lord is your strength. His father ran and kissed him, gave him love. Yeah. Even though we do wrong, daddy still gonna forgive you. Can I get a witness? Yeah. You got a savior that cares for you. Yeah. He will, if you cast all your kids on him, he will do it for you. Can I get a witness? Yeah. He can turn any and everything around. Sometimes you get weak in our lives and we wonder how we're gonna make it. Why, why am I going through this? Why am I going through that? Sometimes they call us our finances to look crazy. Can I get a witness? And I offer, can I get a witness in here? We sometimes wonder what things are going wrong. Because you had some time in your life where you had some fun. Let's be real tonight. We all have sinned and come short of the glory. Am I right about it? We all have done some things in our life that we got to go before God. Yes, we do.
have seen it. It said now his older son was in the field and he came and drew near the house. He heard music and dance. So he called one of the servants to ask what this meant. And he said to him, your brother has come and because we have received him safe and sound, your father has killed a cow. But he was so angry, the guy got angry. Because this was a good was the good son. Can I get a witness? This was a, a son that didn't do no wrong, but he, he knew that his brother was going to come back home eventually. I believe his father was so excited that he cooked him some food and had him some music and they they did everything they got, that they could to make this young man back home. Yeah. They welcomed him back home with love. Yeah. They welcomed him back home with care. Yeah. They welcomed him back home with peace. Can I get a witness? They were glad that their son didn't die, but yet he lived. Sometimes in our life we have to go through in order to get to. We have to go through worldly things, but we know we got to stay prayed up. We got to keep on praying in the midnight hour. But I want you to know that there is somebody that's looking down on you. There is somebody who sees your trouble. There is somebody who hears your cry. He knows your pain. He sees everything. Can I get a witness? We sometimes fail to realize that God still kill. And we want to go and do things on our own. But we got to learn to stay in the house sometime. When God says stay home, it's time to stay home. Am I right about it? He tried to get our attention. Have you ever been at home? And God just wake you up. Can I get in a witness? We get down on our knees. That's the best time to get down on your knees. And you begin to seek those things that God has for you. Because if you have a calling on oh, your life, if you have an anointing on oh, your life, you realize that sometimes you're not supposed to do what everybody else do. Sometimes we want to get out and go have a little fun. Yes, we do. Sometimes we want to get out and go drinking. We want to do a little smoking sometimes. But I came to tell you tonight, that's not what God has planned for you. Because God has a destiny for you and I. Am I right about it? So today was a neighbor inside you might be hurting your life. You may be troubling your mind. Can we go in just a while? You may have cried all night long. But I, I came to tell you, God will take care of you. It does not matter what it may look like. It doesn't matter. So somebody say, he won't leave me all by myself. Even when you're out there in the world, you know that God is covering you. Even sometimes, I look at my father here. My father had some things in his life. He felt like he was supposed to go astray. I'm not putting his business out there. But as we begin to pray for him, then it came on back home. He asked for forgiveness.
Hallelujah. Daddy, can I come back home? That's a good God. Can I get a witness? When I look back on this Father's Day and got my granddaddy sitting there, got my daddy sitting there, I love them with all my heart. Can I get a witness? Anytime I need to talk to them, all I got to do is pick up the phone and call them. But don't you know that there is somebody that's greater than anything that, that will be right there whenever you want it. His name is Jesus. Jesus went to Calvary. The same wretch like you and me. He laid there. He died on the cross. So why can't we just celebrate Jesus? Come on, can you get up on your feet and just celebrate the Father? I come tonight to tell you that God loves you. somebody you may have lost your joy you may have lost you may have lost your peace but I want you to know tonight that whatever you're going through God can turn it around for you if you've been touched by this word and you just need prayer tonight you might be going through a situation you might be having financial problems you might be dealing with depression. You might be dealing with sickness. But if I were you tonight, I'd just step out on this altar tonight. How many need something from God? You, you are determined to go greater. Can I get a witness? I know you lost some joy. You, you lost some peace. Will, will y'all please stand? And you lost your hope. But God is here tonight. I promise you that if you just step out wherever you are, he will turn it around tonight. Sometimes we stray away and we wonder which way to turn or which way to go. But if you keep your faith and your trust in God, he will lead the way. So tonight, if you're sick in here and you want God just to touch from God or you're going through a financial problem or you're going through a sickness right now, just believe that God's going to do it. 